Rule 28A. No player may hook or strike an opponent's mallet unless on the same side of the opponent's mount or in a direct line behind, and the mallet is neither over, under, nor across any part of the opponent's mount. Note the position of the player in the dark jersey on his light opponent's near side as he reaches across to hook and foul. However, no player may hook or strike an opponent's mallet unless all of the mallet is below the opponent's shoulder. Here, the number one light player clearly hooks above his opponent's shoulder. No player may swing the mallet in windmill fashion as in appealing for a foul. The player in the bright jersey who was crossed by the player in the dark jersey appeals to the umpires by windmilling. Some appeals are more dangerous than others, but a high-speed twirl always calls for a foul. Any kind of a helicopter is potentially dangerous, twirling the mallet above your head, whether appealing for a foul or, or riding in glee because you got a good shot or whatever, uh, is improper use of the mallet and should be a foul. Even a dangerous foul should not be followed by an excessive appeal and can cost a team a free shot opportunity they have earned. Rule 28B. No player may reach immediately over and across or under and across any part of an opponent's mount to hit at the ball, nor hit into or among the legs of an opponent's mount. The player in the light jersey fouls here by reaching across his opponent's pony in what is commonly referred to as a cross hook. You can't reach across an opponent's horse to hook his stick. That's improper use of the mallet. That's a foul. Under his horse, over his horse, anywhere, in between his horse's legs. That, that's improper use of the mallet. Here, the player in the bright jersey on the left is out of the offside lane, but reaches across in front of the dark player's pony to take a swing at the ball. Foul. Rule 28C. No player may intentionally strike a mount with the head or butt of the mallet, as the player in the light jersey does here. Rule 28D. No player may use the mallet in a manner which is dangerous or abusive to another player or to the player's own or another player's mount. In this example, the team in the dark jerseys fouls twice. The first dark player fouls by hitting into the light player's pony as he attempts to hook. The second dark player fouls his own teammate when he reaches under his pony to attempt to hit at the ball and strikes hard into the hind legs. Rule 28F. No player may intentionally move or strike the ball after the whistle. Proper use of the mallet, such as this hook, can be a safe and effective offensive or defensive tool. This concludes the Blue Book Video Guide. The United States Polo Association hopes that using this visual guide with the Blue Book will make the sport of polo safer and more enjoyable for players of all levels.